Welcome to the series of how these renders were made. Today, we are going to analyze how this image was made by a 3 d artist based in Croatia. We will see how he transformed in a short time a basic scene into a complete image using the Megaskins library and Quixel Bridge. The scene is created with three dismal. It is a room seen from a central perspective overlooking a kind of courtyard. There are several large windows facing the courtyard and a window on the roof, which allows us to get a beautiful light in the scene. As for the lighting they used a simple light setup. They placed a raisin to shine through the beams and windows and produce a subtle striped pattern on the ground. They increased the size of the sun to soften the shadows. And for the environment, they used the default Vrayski. In addition, they placed Vray lights on all the windows and on the roof window. They increased the directionality of the light so that it illuminates more on the walls. Lights are used on the windows to introduce more light into the scene because once we add all the assets and materials it will darken, and in this way, we have more control over the final look of the scene. Now that the scene setup is complete, they started importing the assets. For this project, we only use Quixel Bridge, which is a powerful content management software that allows us to export assets with a single click. First. Megaskin's Live Link for 3DS Max must be installed, which allows both Max and Bridge to communicate with each other. Since you use Vray for this scene, all you did was select it as your renderer from the Live Link drop down menu. Once you select an asset to use, you need to check the export settings in Bridge. There you can choose the resolution and texture format, and also the level of detail you want to use for the geometry. If you have multiple 3DD applications running, this is also where you choose which one to export to. Once the configuration is confirmed, all you have to do is press the export button and return to 3DS Max. The selected model will be imported with the materials already applied, so all you have to do is place it where you want it in the scene. If the model comes with multiple variants, just separate them. Once this is done, I texture the walls and floors with Megaskins. In the Live Link window, there is a Apply Material to Selection checkbox. We will make sure it is checked before we start exporting surfaces. We will go back to Bridge and select the surface we want to apply. We will also select an object we want to apply it to, in this case, the floor. Once we export, the material will be automatically created and assigned to the floor. And that's all it takes. Once again, we will repeat the process and apply materials to the walls, ceiling, etc. Now it's just a matter of repeating this simple export process for all the resources we want to use. They made some adjustments. For example, the default concrete walls we imported are a bit yellowish, so they adjusted them a bit to get a grayer color. They added a color correction map to the diffuse channel and desaturated it. Since the wall covers an important part of the image, it would be nice to break up the surface a bit and make it more interesting. The Megaskins library has many imperfection maps that you can use for these cases to import individual textures or parts of any asset manually. Quixel Bridge has a super useful open in folder option, which we can use to open a Windows Explorer file window with the asset in question. We then drag the texture into the material editor. A simple black and white map added to the diffuse channel via Vraycomp text map set to multiply mode should suffice. Since these textures are available at a maximum resolution of 8K, we can stretch the map over the entire image without losing any detail. We can easily do this by switching the map to mapping channel 2 in the material editor and adding another UVW map modifier to our wall, also by setting it to channel 2. Now we can subtly adjust various material settings around the scene until we achieve the look we are going for. All that's left to do now is to tidy up the foreground. You have selected one of the sofa models from your personal library. The Megaskins library contains a lot of fabric surfaces, so they used some of them for the sofa. I also modeled two simple little tables, and with the same process as above, you can import some 3DD fruits from the Megaskins library to add some life to the tables. And to finish the composition, I add a small sculpture to give it more visual interest. We leave you with the final images, 
But first, if you found the video interesting, please like and subscribe to analyze more projects. Dreams, dreams make a wish come true.